Hi guys! So today I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about some of the J vloggers that I watch consistently and some of the people who have inspired me with this Japanese vlog type thing. And so this is in honestly in no particular order. It's not like my favorite to my least favorite. It's just how they came to me in my head. So <laughs> that's that's scary. Yes. Okay, so first up, this person is first just because they were one of the first people that I actually watched about Japan, and that's Abroad in Japan. I started watching his videos about like Family Mart chicken and his experiences in small town rural Japan, and I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. He's very snarky, and I mean, I like his humor. Some people don't, but I think he's pretty entertaining. He's got some cool ideas, and his friend Natsuki has really become a huge part of his show, and and they're both really entertaining to watch and they've come up with some pretty fun little sayings and stuff along the way so I like watching them pretty informative pretty good yeah Broad in Japan. That's it. And then next up is Oshare Girl. I don't really know how I came across her channel. It must have just been one of the suggested things and I happened to watch it. She does a lot of fashion and she also does a lot of just like a day in the life of. And I really like that. I swear I'm trying to live vicariously through her because she is living in Japan and she's doing all this fun stuff and she's eating all this fun food and I'm like, I wish that was me. She's a really fun personality so I like watching her videos because she's lively and it's really fun to see all the places that she goes and the things that she does. And the next one, you guys know we've already done a collaboration video. It's Cal Preston, formerly the artist known as Mulatto in Japan. And obviously we're buds and I love his channel. He has a lot of fun stuff. He's currently in the process of moving to Japan, so that's going to be happening soon. So he'll have a lot more of Japan related videos. So I'm really excited to see where that goes. Good luck, buddy. I can't wait. Ah. Next up is Mara in Japan. Mara's channel is a hidden little gem that I think all of you guys need to go to and subscribe to her channel because she makes a lot of cool videos about places that you might not think about right away. So it's, they're great little like snapshots of places to put on your wish list of places to go see around the Tokyo area or Japan as well because they are traveling around to farther places also. And what's great about her videos is that her shots and everything are top quality and they're often very short. So if you don't want to be like spending a whole lot of time watching someone's video and listening to them kind of like drone on, um, you can watch her videos and they're short to the point but really beautifully shot. So I definitely recommend her channel. Another one of my favorite J vloggers is Charlotte in Japan. She's kind of one of the OGs of the Japan vlog people. I started watching Charlotte around the same time as Abroad in Japan because they have been doing this probably for the longest. So they probably have the biggest following along with Rachel and June, which I'll mention. She just seems like she's really nice and does a lot of like gaming and anime and like figuring collecting type videos, which I'm not super into, but they're fun to watch because she's she's very sweet and very cute. And I'm sure most of you guys know who she is already. So, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed when I was searching for information about Japan before we traveled the very first time. Hers was one of the videos that I watched and I got a lot of helpful information. So yeah, it was good. Another girl that I'm pretty new to her channel within this last year is Peach Milky. She's a gal from Ireland and her and her boyfriend recently moved. But before that, she did a lot of cosplay videos and she's really cute. She looks great in all of like the anime-esque type costumes and stuff. But her videos are fun and she goes around to a lot of different things and of course she talks about makeup so I like that aspect as well. And she's just, she's a girly girl so if you're into kind of that girly aspect, it's and a good channel to check out. And then like I mentioned, Rachel and June. So Rachel and June, Charlotte in Japan, and Abroad in Japan were some of the top three informative channels that I utilized on my first trip to Japan. And so they were very helpful in that respect. And Rachel and June, some of her like earlier videos are very informative. Like a lot of things helped me prepare for my trip to Japan. So I appreciate that. And another gal that I also watched is Experience Japan with Yuka. She is actually Japanese and she makes videos about Japan for foreigners and she has a lot of helpful tips and so that's really good because again preparing for trips there learning cultural customs and things like that like shoulds and should nots in Japan she's very helpful and so I liked watching her videos as well and then internationally me uh I think she's all 
Australian or New Zealand. Oh, I should have prepared better for that. But she has quite a few videos and she lives in Japan currently and she has just a lot of lifestyle things about life in Japan, but also information about living and working in Japan, which is cool. And her videos are pretty good quality, so I appreciate that as well. And yeah, they're pretty fun to watch. And then last, but certainly, certainly not least, this is more of like an honorable mention because he doesn't really do J-vlog videos, but he does have a lot about culture and language, and that's Kevin Abroad. And his videos sometimes centralize on the Japanese language and learning Japanese and a lot of different other languages, which I think is really cool cool and I really love his videos because they're very informative and they help give you an interesting perspective on being bilingual and also taking in other people's cultures and learning from them and so I definitely recommend his channel as well. And so those are just like they're my top most watched J vloggers and just vloggers in general on YouTube currently. I do watch other people's vlogs and channels here and there and I'm constantly being introduced to new people, which is really exciting and fun and I love how the community continues to grow. And so if there's some people on the list that you haven't checked out yet, please go ahead and check them. I'll link all of their channels in the description box below and I hope you guys give them a fair shot, check out some of their videos. I hope you loved this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will have more more videos out about Japan. Thank you guys. Take care.